day five. Day five, let's see what we have. You wanna see that too? I'm sorry guys, I cannot. We don't have anything and we're not doing the event calendar no more for you guys. We don't want you to get sick, especially you, Billy. I'm sorry. You look better. Let's see what we have for number five. Oh, it's a house. Yeah. Welcome to Blockfest Day 5. Today I didn't do anything special besides taking care of my little boy and working. So instead of me showing you my boring day, I'm going to show you what I did four weeks ago. for your journey at the perfect moment. Since you're boarding, our stewards have personally stamped your golden tickets. I would like for each of you to now hold that ticket up and in front of you, like this. Passengers, look carefully at the stamp on your ticket. This stamp was chosen just for you. It stands for something that we hope you learn today on your trip. It stands for something that is to be carried with you after your journey is complete. You see, passengers of the Polar Express, you have boarded today for one very important reason. This 
is your crucial year. So, I would keep those tickets in a very safe place if I were you. And I look forward to coming through your car very soon to see them. And one more thing. I would like to take this moment to congratulate each of you for climbing aboard and joining us on this very special journey where a change of heart just might occur. See, one thing about trains, it doesn't matter where they're going. What matters is deciding to get on. Answer a very important question. Are you coming? Are you coming? Come on, come on, I have a schedule to keep. I repeat, are you coming? passengers this is your conductor speaking i apologize for this unscheduled stop i am heading outside to see what is causing the delay as you know we are on a very tight schedule smoky why have we stopped You have? Is this you? Yes. Well, this is a report from the conductor, and it says here, no photo with the department store Santa this year, no letter to Santa, and you made your sister put out the milk and cookies. Is all of that true? Yes. Well then, sounds to me like this is your crucial year. Ticket, please. I'm not sure I have a ticket. Try your pocket. There's nothing in this pocket. There's a hole in it. Try your other pocket. Thank you. This stamp, it looks like a letter. What does it mean? Nothing I need to know. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Maybe you're a doubter. Maybe because you don't see, you don't remember. And maybe this is your crucial year. Sometimes the most real things in this world are the things we can't see. Your attention, please. Are any Polar Express passengers in need of refreshment? Yes. Anyone for?
question for you. What kind of drink is ah, never I on time? Don't. Hot choco late. <laughs> Passengers, I do apologize for that terrible crashing sound. Next? The chef's yeah. habit of dropping hot chocolate mugs is really getting out of hand. Clean up yeah. on aisle four. Now, what Santa says. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Yes, ho, ho, ho. Hey, let's hear some solo ho, ho, ho's. If one of us puts our microphone up to you, we want you to give us your best and loudest ho, ho, ho. That's a great idea. Okay, ready, everyone? Oh. 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 Things in this world are the things we can't see. And my tummy. And your tummy. What about my ticket? What about it? There's something stamped on it. It looks like a letter. What does it mean? What does that stamp on your ticket mean? Nothing I need to know. Let me ask you something, kid. What do you hear? I don't hear anything. I think the bell of your hat's broken. <laughs> Let me ask all of you that could see me. Raise your hand if you could hear my bell. <laughs> Hardly anyone hears it. And right, hold on tight to those golden tickets. This is your crucial year. Ho, ho, ho. Young man, why aren't you in your seat? I'm talking to the king of the Polar Express. Ho, ho, ho. Who? That guy right there. Can't you see him? I don't see anyone, and I don't hear anything. Wait, I do hear something. It's the sound of a ringing bell. You can hear the bell? I need you to please take your seat. Thank you. Attention passengers, this is the part of our journey where we get to enjoy one of our most treasured holiday traditions. We believe something very magical can happen when you read a book, and that when you read a book, it's possible to see it when you already have inside of you. Time to turn on your imaginations while we read our favorite story, The Polar Express by Chris Van Alsberg. On Christmas Eve, many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound. A sound of friend looked up at my window. I put on my slippers and robe. I tiptoed downstairs and out the door. All aboard! The conductor cried out. I ran up to him. is a wonderful symbol of the spirit of Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Better keep that in a safe place. The true spirit of Christmas lies in your heart for all who truly believe.
in red and green All the things I've heard about but never really seen No one will be sleeping on the night of Christmas Eve Knowing Santa's on his way Santa sleigh bells ring, I listen all around, the herald angels sing, I never hear a sound. What all the dreams of children, what's lost will all be found, that's all I want when Christmas comes to town, that's all I want when Christmas comes to town. speaking with a journey update. Considering the climate in which we are now traveling, the outdoor temperature has dropped considerably, so I would advise Excuse all me, passengers Mr. Conductor, to... Excuse me, Mr. Conductor, sir, but I have a plan to fight that chill. Carry on. Let's all warm up by doing one of my favorite things, the Polar Twist. I love the Polar Twist. On each course of the song, I want all of our passengers to stand up know. and do the Polar Twist with us. We will let you know when it's time to dance, but first, Let's start by warming up our hands.
Merry Christmas. <laughs>